get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey guys, good morning. I have a really fun recipe. I think we all get stuck in a recipe rut and we make the, the same things over and over again. So this is something a little bit different. It's great to, you know, change things up for dinner, and we're doing it in the slow cooker, and I love, love, love my slow cooker. Life is so crazy busy these days that I find that if I can get dinner together quick in the morning, get up five minutes earlier, get everything in the slow cooker, and then head out the door and do your thing, come home after a long day, dinner's done, the house smells amazing, man, it is just a lifesaver. So I'm going to show you how to make Italian sausages in the slow cooker. The first thing you do is you get out a grill pan, or if the weather's not too chilly, you can actually quickly grill up some Italian sausages or just do them in a skillet. And what I'm doing is just getting a little color on these Italian sausages. So basically, you want to do about eight Italian sausages, eight to 12. I think leftovers are a good thing. You can do many different things with these sausages. I'll give you a few ideas in just a minute. So we're just browning the outside of this, the sausages. Uh, if you wanted to skip that step, you could actually buy the pre-cooked Italian sausages, and then you could skip that step altogether. Now, I love my slow cooker. I don't like cleaning the slow cooker, so I'm using these slow cooker liners, which are fantastic. You just find them in the aisle near the uh, saran wrap and the, and the foil. They're right in that aisle, right at the grocery store. They've got them right there at Festival. So then you're going to take your sausages, again, anywhere from 8 to 12, Italian sausages, sausages that you've just given a little bit of color and, and flavor to, either in the skillet or on the grill pan. Throw in some onions and peppers, and you can, I use green peppers, but you could certainly use um, the red and the yellow peppers too if you wanted some different colors in there. I've got some dried oregano, dried basil, just a little bit of sugar, a little bit of garlic salt. And I use sweet Italian sausages, by the way, but if you like a little heat, you could certainly use the hot Italian sausages. And then we've got marinara sauce. Two jars of marinara sauce and some dry red wine. Put the lid on this baby, go out and do your thing, let it cook low and slow, and those sausages are gonna get tender as all get out. The onions and the peppers are going to uh, cook down and really become lots of great flavor. Now, there's two ways I like to serve these, and that's why I said leftovers are a good thing. You can basically slice up or keep whole and serve the, uh, the sausage and the peppers over hot cooked pasta. Uh, the other way to do it is like an Italian sub sandwich. So basically, and this is my husband Bob's favorite way to have these, get some nice crusty rolls that we picked up at festival. Sub rolls or even brat buns work. The, the wimpy buns won't really hold up to this sandwich, and this is actually more of a knife and fork sandwich. Get some of those onions and the peppers and lots of sauce. This is so great on a cold winter day. And then I like to take a little bit of Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle that over the top and get out the napkins. This is so, so good. My Italian sausages in the slow cooker. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Enjoy. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.